the Ergonomic Touchpad Control Center. Ergo touchpads work automatically when plugged in. You don't need a thing, just plug it in and go. But if you want more, the Ergo Touchpad Control Center is a free program that gives you tons of cool features. Makes it easy to fine tune your touchpad exactly how you want it. Simply download it from our website and you'll have speed and acceleration adjustments, eight different scrolling options, four different gestures, four separate programmable gestures, the ability to rotate the touchpad, programmable buttons, programmable tap zone, and much more. After install, you can leave it on its default settings and not worry about it. And automatically you'll have all these functions right at your fingertips. But the control center is fully adjustable and you can control virtually every function and fine tune it to the way you want it. It gives you eight scrolling options for things like horizontal, vertical, power scroll, circular scroll, and much more. The touchpad's right corner tap zone or physical buttons can be changed from things like left and right tap to things like middle click, click lock, page up or down, cut, copy or paste. You can even set them to bring up programs like Windows Media Player or your default email. Gestures include rotate, pinch zoom, two finger pan, three finger flick, and you can even assign the flick to open up files, folders, programs, and web pages. You can set the pad to ignore large objects from brushing against it. You can even rotate the touchpad so it works sideways. And most of these functions actually make a sound that can be turned on or off. The Ergonomic Touchpad Control Center. Let's take a closer look. Click the Motion tab to adjust the pointer speed and acceleration. Find the speed that works best for you and you can always click the default box to set it to its default setting. At its slowest setting, the cursor moves just a few inches. But as you adjust the speed faster, the cursor moves farther. Here we adjust the speed up and it will span the entire length of your monitor. Notice how the cursor moves farther with each adjustment of the control until it's so fast you can barely see it move. And for those of us with two monitors, this function can help you cover those long distances with minimal finger movement. Acceleration has a multiplying effect, so the faster you move your finger the farther the cursor moves. Fast finger moves the cursor across the entire screen. Slow finger moves the cursor a few inches. Motion extenders are for dragging files and folders. The glide extend setting has unlimited dragging. It lets you drag past the edge of the pad and gives you three seconds to bring your finger back so you can keep dragging without holding down a button and remember to double tap quickly for the tap function to engage and drag lock will lock the dragging function so when you double tap on something it will stay in the drag mode until you double tap it again it just won't let go block accidental tapping motion while typing is good if you find yourself hitting the touchpad by accident ignore large objects brushing the touchpad actually detects when a large object is touching the touchpad so it doesn't register as a finger touch the scrolling tab offers eight different scrolling options scroll up and down by dragging across the the right edge is the vertical checkbox. Scroll from side to side by dragging across the bottom edge. That's the horizontal checkbox. Zoom in and out of documents, web pages, and videos by dragging across the left edge. The zoom checkbox. And page back and forth between web pages, photos, and more by dragging across the top of the touchpad. The back and forth checkbox. Any one of these functions can be enabled or disabled by simply checking or unchecking the box. Notice how the arrow appears as you click on and off the scrolling option. Compatible scroll is simply the regular horizontal and vertical scrolling. Wheel mouse scroll is very similar but lets you control the speed of the scrolling. If you want to slow it down, set this somewhere below 5. In some Windows 7 computers, press wheel settings and this will bring up the mouse properties and you can adjust the speed from there. Power scroll is another way to scroll by just moving your finger a very short distance along the side and holding it in place. To scroll faster, slide further while still holding your finger down. Even faster, slide further still. Slide your finger in the opposite direction to slow scrolling or to scroll in the opposite direction. Circular scroll is a way to scroll by drawing a circle on the touchpad. Make sure to start on the edge and just draw a circle. Clockwise scrolls down and counterclockwise scrolls up. You can draw a big circle or you can draw a small circle. You can go fast or you can go slow. 
and once you have your circle going, you can reverse it to scroll in the other direction. Circular scroll is cool because it works at the same time as your regular scrolling on the edges. So one second you can scroll by dragging along the right edge and the next you can do it by going in a circle. Gestures are pretty darn cool because you can easily incorporate them into your normal cursor movement for a natural uninterrupted flow. Rotating an image is sort of like twisting the dial of a combination lock. You can use two fingers or a finger and a thumb. Place them on the touchpad and rotate. The rotate icon appears and the image rotates. This works in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. The rotating motion can come from moving your arm, your wrist, or just your fingertips alone. Pinch or zoom gestures. To zoom in and out of maps, images, documents, and more, simply place two fingers or your finger and thumb on the surface of the touchpad and spread them apart or pinch them together. The pinch or zoom icon will appear and the image will zoom in or out. It can also work by keeping one finger stationary and sliding the other finger towards it or away from it. Two finger pan gestures will scroll up and down and side to side by dragging your two fingers on the surface of the touchpad. Place your two fingers on the pad simultaneously and drag. The pan icon appears and it scrolls in that direction. Your fingers can be tight together or have space between them, it doesn't matter. Three finger flick is like having four separate programmable buttons, but instead of pushing a button, you just flick your fingers up, down, left, or right. The motion is like a flick or a swipe. All fingers should hit the surface of the touchpad simultaneously. It recognizes the fingertips or the flatter fatty part of your finger. The fingers can be tight together or have space between them, all in one motion. The fingers contact the surface and drag about a half an inch to an inch, and the command will be executed. You simply Simply set it to the command that you want. It's a fast and effective way to do things like page up and down, go back and forth, maximize, minimize, and restore one or all windows. Bring up programs like Windows File Explorer, default web browser, default email, default media, back and forward, glide point controls, and if that's not enough, you can assign it to open up most any shortcut. Open up files, pictures, programs, and much more. Simply create a shortcut to whatever you want it to do and select it in the drop-down menu. And with a single flick, it will automatically open up. You can also open up any web page, including Gmail, Netflix, online games, and much more. Drag the website's bookmark from your browser to the computer and select the shortcut in the gestures drop-down and it will automatically open up with the flick you've assigned it to. All gestures can be enabled or disabled by simply checking the corresponding box. And if you have big hands, some gestures might be easier with the extra-large touchpad. The Buttons tab. The left and right button assignment drop-down menus are for ergo touchpads with buttons. And the corner tap zone drop-down is for the upper right-hand corner tap zone. The default settings are left and right click, but you can change these to 42 different functions. Opening up the touchpad to unparalleled controllability. Here's a few ideas. You can change any of the buttons to left, right, or middle click. Click lock is just like holding the left button of your mouse down and not letting up, but with a single tap. So you can simply tap on anything once and drag it as long as you want until you tap on it again to release the click lock. Double click allows you to click once and have it act as a double click. Normally it takes two taps to open up a folder, photo, file, or program. But with this setting, you tap only once and it opens up automatically. Slow mode will make your touchpad cursor speed become very slow with just one click. Alternate between normal cursor movement to having the cursor barely move for super precise movements. So with a quick tap, you change it from moving the entire length of the screen to just a few centimeters. You could make the touchpad a dedicated copy and paster by simply setting the left button to cut, the right button to copy or enter, and the right tap zone to paste. Enter is the same as the enter on your keyboard. Page up and page down is like scrolling, but by tapping instead. Undo erases the last change done to a document, and you can also change the button or tap zone function to open up Windows Explorer, your default media player, browser, or email. 
Other options include horizontal only, vertical only, insert, delete, home, end, page up, page up, page down, tab, next window tab, previous window tab, last window use, help, context, help, save, print, close application, maximize window, minimize window, restore window, minimize all window, restore all window, send, right? And if that's not enough, you can assign it to open up files, pictures, programs, web pages, and much more. Simply create a shortcut to whatever you want to do. Go to the drop down for the button or tap zone you want to assign it to. Select create a new link and it's done. Bring up programs, files, folders, and even web pages by tapping the right upper tap zone or left or right button. You can also bring up any web page including Gmail, Netflix, online games, maps, and much more. Drag the website's bookmark from your browser to the computer. Go to the drop down for the tap zone or button you want to assign. Select create a new link. Bring up the website shortcut, press apply, and it's now assigned to your touchpad. Tapping tab. Enable taps will disable or enable all tapping. Enable tap and drag if unchecked will not allow you to drag an item. We recommend keeping the tap adjustment and double tap speed at a slow setting. Double tap speed will affect tapping to open folders, files, or documents, but it doesn't affect double tapping for dragging. Remember, double tapping for dragging needs to be a rapid tap as anything slower will not register the drag. Options tab. Rotation allows you to rotate the touchpad, so you can use the touchpad vertically or upside down, but remember it doesn't rotate the scroll or tap zone. The control center also has sounds associated with many of its functions. Most people like to disable the sound and keep the touchpad silent, but each sound can be individually disabled or enabled, or to keep the touchpad silent, click Disable All Touchpad Sound. Because the touchpad is USB, it can work at the same time as a mouse for the option of having a mouse and a touchpad available on one computer. And the Ergo Touchpad Control Center is a separate control, so you can have the touchpad function set how you like it without it affecting your mouse settings. You can also have more than one touchpad on a single computer for maximum variety and functionality. The Ergonomic Touchpad Control Center. Fine-tune your touchpad the way you like it. Ergonomic touchpads, extra-large touchpads, keyboard clips, stylus, remote control touchpads, tablet touchpads, reverse touchpads, promo touchpads, hands-free touchpads, simple solutions for a complicated world.